Good morning, Connections. I'm glad you're here. We can't leave the, the topic of relationship without failing to, to use one of the beautiful illustrations that God gives us in his word. And that illustration is the story of Ruth, which truly is the story of all of these amazing relationships coming together to glorify God and move his story forward to the people that he chooses to bring into relationship. Ruth's story is amazing, but so is yours. So I hope by sharing Ruth's story, or at least a portion of it, as much as we can squeeze into our five days, will inspire you to, to allow God to write your story. For if God can use Ruth, who was not a Jew, not part of the family, to impact her world and end up in the story and the lineage of Jesus, then that means he might do the same for you and I. So in order to tell the story of Ruth, we really have to have a day of setting the stage. So that's what today will be. We're not going to advance the story and really start talking much about the relationships, some heartbreak in the, the second verse that I share, which will set the stage. But we also want to get a sense of, of what time the story of youth took place and where, you know, what region, what part of the world. So we have a better sense of some of the things that were going on during, during the story of Ruth. So we're going to start, what better place than Ruth 1, in verse 1. In the days when judges ruled Israel, a severe famine came upon the land. So a man from Bethlehem and Judah left his home and went to live in the country of Moab, taking his wife and two sons with him. The man's name was Elimelech, and his wife was Naomi. Their two sons were Malon and Kilian. They were Ephrathites from Bethlehem in the land of Judah. And when they reached Moab, they settled there. All right. So first part of the picture is coming into to focus. When? It was during the time of Judges. So the people of Israel have moved into the promised land and began accomplishing the work that God has set and, and creating, a, creating Israel. That's the time period. Where? Well, let's take a look at the map of the region. And you can see in the very center, there's Jerusalem, which is a little bit more familiar, of course, Bethlehem. Now, we've already shared that there's a link between the story of Jesus and the story of Ruth, and now we get a, a picture. Hey, that's where, where Jesus was born, in Bethlehem. And then if you look to the east or to the, the right and a little bit down, there is Moab. The, uh, and that's there's a famine going on in Bethlehem. And so Elimelech takes his family and moves to Moab. So that takes care of setting the stage. Now... Let's set the, the actors in place. Then Elimelech died, and Naomi was left with her two sons. The two sons married Moabite women. One married a woman named Orpah, and the other a woman named Ruth. But about ten years later, both Malon and Kilian died. This left Naomi alone without her two sons or her husband. All right, so we know the time, we know the place, and know, now we know our cast, if you will, the, the people that, are, that we're going to, to see move forward or not move forward in the story. So it's a, a story of tragedy that Elimelech passes away shortly after moving to Moab. And in order to take care of 
Naomi and take care of the family, the sons choose to, to marry Moabite women. And that seems to work for a, a season, for, for 10 years. But then the sons pass away. And now the family is struggling. Naomi is a stranger in a strange land with two daughters-in-law and no ability to truly take care of themselves. That's the setting for the story that we're bringing to the fore of how God uses relationship to help us have a better understanding of him, to put on display his glory. Well, what a weird story. These people are in real trouble, in real crisis. Their life hasn't gone the way that it was intended to go. There was famine and the family moves and then the, the father dies and then the sons die. If you find yourself in crisis today, you're in good company. We often talk that God uses the very unexpected people to move in the mightiest of ways. Kind of an addition to that that we learn through the story of Ruth and Naomi and Oprah at this time is God uses people in crisis, people that seem to be in in dire straits. And not only will we see God transform their situation through the faith and the, the faithfulness that they demonstrate with one another, but again, spoilers, this is an amazing story of the generations that come before God is, is ready to introduce Jesus into the world. All right, so we've set the stage. Tomorrow we'll start kind of digging deeper into these, these relationships and how Ruth navigates her way through and something that all of us can learn, whether we are married or whether we are looking for just close friends that we can count on. The story of Ruth has something for each and every one of us. Meet you back here tomorrow and don't miss Wednesday because you'll miss out on a good portion of the story. So I'll see you back here tomorrow. We'll continue the story. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the richness of your word. We thank you, Lord, for the example after example after example of how you relate to your people. How you take the, the least of us, Lord, when they're found in the most difficult situations and you, you raise them up, Lord. You give them hope. You give them purpose. And you write them into your story. Lord, as we read through the story of Ruth, help us to be inspired to live our life as Ruth led hers. We pray, Lord, that wherever we find ourselves today, Lord, that we recognize this is just a season. And if we would trust in you and invest in the relationships that you have placed in our lives, that there is nothing that you cannot accomplish in us and through us. We're excited to see where the story of Ruth leads from this point, Lord. You have found them in a dire situation, and we are hopeful that you will bring them out. Just as we have found ourselves often in a time of crisis, and we are hoping that you will bring us out today as well. We seek you, Lord. We turn our eyes to you. Write us into your story. In Jesus' name, amen. Know that I love you and I miss you. And please be good. <laughs>